It's like a pop-up restaurant, this temporary wetland in California's Central Valley, created at just the right time and place to serve migrating birds on a very long journey. 200 years ago, if you were a bird flying over this landscape, what you would have seen is a mosaic of wetlands and grasslands that provided abundant bugs and other food for you to eat. Since then, what we've seen is this landscape has turned into a patchwork of almost wall-to-wall -wall agriculture. Bird populations have dropped dramatically from lack of food and habitat during migrations stretching up to 11,000 kilometers. This rice field would normally be dry at this time of year. An innovative conservation program is paying farmers to flood fields for a few weeks at a time to provide habitat and food. Determining when and where to flood fields is critical to the program's success. This is where eBird comes in. It's a free app used by bird watchers to record sightings. And all of those observations can be used to make predictions of where birds will be most abundant uh, at which times of the year. Using the eBird models, combined with satellite data predicting where water naturally occurs, team members can identify gaps and determine which fields make the most sense to flood. Mountain of Farms has flooded some of its 162 hectares for the program. The white-faced ibis was a, was a bird that maybe 21 years ago I'd see one or two of them. Now I'm seeing flocks and thousands of them on the farm. The project's success has spurred a rice industry group to launch its own program working with farmers. Matt Dibble for VOA News, Calusa, California.